guess it's time I tell you who this fella is over here playing the bass. What do you say? Um, he's thrilled to be here for sure because he comes from Washington State, folks, in Olympia. Uh, a month or so ago, he graduated from the Curtis Institute of Music back in May. And yeah, <laughs> and uh, we met last August. He came through Nashville, and I had started working on this project with uh, Bela Fleck producing, one of my heroes. And we started with the idea of what would it be like if we just took a lot of these songs that I had written over the past few years and just start with mandolin and voice and see where we go from there. And we thought, well, you know, it would be really nice to have a bass player. And uh, so we asked Edgar Meyer, who's, you know, of course, one of my bass heroes, can you recommend anybody that you think would, would make sense to, you know, play on this record? And uh, he mentioned Ethan, and Ethan studied with Edgar at Curtis, and of course I didn't know who Ethan was at that time, unfortunately, and so I, I started Googling him and YouTubing him, stalking him online, practically, <laughs> like one does. And then uh, got really excited because he's super good, and then I just thought, I hope he's not a jerk, that would be bad. But he's not! He's a nice guy. <laughs> It's hard to be a jerk when you come from Washington. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you and welcome, folks. He's one of the finest bass players around. That's Mr. Ethan Yo Jevitz. We do a little instrumental tune that I wrote, and um, you know. I had just finished it right around the time I met Ethan, and he was one of the first people I played the tune with, and uh, it's in the key of E, so I had called it E-Tune, but since Ethan was the first guy that I ever played it with, I've just left it E-Tune. It makes sense. <laughs> so we're going to play it for you. Thank you. 